Ever wondered how credit cards work? Well, you're not alone. These little plastic life changers have a lot more to them than meets the eye. In this video, we're going to peel back the layers of the credit card onion. We'll dive into their intriguing history, unravel the intricacies of how they work, uncover the benefits they offer, and expose the consequences of not paying them back on time. So buckle up, it's going to be an enlightening ride. Let's delve into the fascinating history of credit cards. Credit cards have a longer history than you might think. Our journey begins in the distant past, long before the advent of plastic or even paper money. The first recorded use of credit can be traced back to the ancient practice of using tally sticks, a system in which notches were cut into a piece of wood to record transactions and debts. Fast forward to the late 19th century in the United States, where credit was extended through the use of charge coins and charge plates. These were small, coin-like tokens or plates issued by department stores, hotels, and oil companies to their customers. Customers could purchase on credit, with the understanding that they would settle their bill in full at the end of each month. Then in the mid-20th century, we saw the birth of the Diners Club card, considered by many as the first universal credit card. This card, made of cardboard, was introduced in 1950 and was primarily used for dining and entertainment expenses. However, it was not until 1958 that the first plastic credit card was introduced to the world by American Express. This was a revolution in the world of credit, making it easier than ever for people to make purchases without carrying large amounts of cash. The credit card industry really took off in the 70s, when banks began mass mailing unsolicited cards to consumers. This led to the creation of the Fair Credit Billing Act in 1974, which provided protections for consumers against unfair billing practices. From there, credit cards have continued to evolve, introducing new features like rewards programs, cashback, and travel benefits. Today, credit cards are a staple of modern financial life, with countless varieties tailored to meet the diverse needs of consumers around the world. So from ancient tally sticks to modern plastic cards, the concept of credit has come a long way. It's a fascinating journey that reflects our changing attitudes towards money, debt, and consumerism. With that, we move from past to present. How exactly do these magical plastic cards work? Credit cards might seem complex, but they're simpler than you think. Let's start with the basics. A credit card is like a loan. When you use a credit card, you're borrowing money from a bank or financial institution with the promise to pay it back. You have a set amount you can borrow known as your credit limit. This limit is determined by your credit worthiness, which is based on factors like your income and credit history. You can spend up to this limit, but remember it's not free money, you have to pay it back. Every credit card has a billing cycle, typically around one month. During this time, you can make purchases, payments, and other transactions up to your credit limit. At the end of your billing cycle, you'll receive a statement detailing all your transactions, your total balance, and your minimum payment due. Now here's where things get interesting. Most credit cards offer a grace period. This is a period of time after your billing cycle ends, but before your payment due date, where you won't be charged interest on your purchases if you pay your balance in full. Sounds great, right? However, if you don't pay off your full balance by the due date, you'll be charged interest. The interest rate, also known as the annual percentage rate or APR, can be quite high, so it's always best to pay off your balance in full each month if you can. When you swipe, insert, or tap your credit card, the merchant's bank requests approval from your credit card issuer. This is to ensure you have enough credit available for the transaction. Once approved, the transaction goes through and the amount is subtracted from your available credit. And there you have it. That's the basics of how a credit card works. It can be a powerful financial tool if used responsibly, giving you the ability to make purchases now and pay for them later. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Now that we know how credit cards work, what benefits do they offer? Believe it or not, credit cards come with a host of benefits. Let's dive into some of them. First off, we have convenience. With a credit card in your wallet, you're carrying a potential world of purchases in a sliver of plastic. It means you don't need to have cash on hand every time you want to buy something. Just swipe or tap and voila, transaction complete. Next up, rewards and cash back. Many credit cards offer rewards programs where you earn points for every dollar spent. These points can be redeemed for travel, merchandise, or even cash back. Imagine getting a free flight or a kitchen gadget just for spending on the things you'd buy anyway. Pretty neat, right? Let's talk about fraud protection. 
If your credit card is lost or stolen, you're not liable for unauthorized charges. The card company has got your back. It's a comforting layer of security that cash simply doesn't offer. Lastly, credit cards are a great tool for building credit history. Consistent, responsible use of a credit card can show lenders that you're trustworthy, which can help you when it's time to get a loan or a mortgage. While the benefits are tempting, remember, every coin has two sides. Let's discuss the consequences of not paying back on credit cards. Failing to pay back your credit card debt can have serious consequences. Now, let's dive into what those consequences might look like. First up, we have late fees. These are the financial penalties you'll face if you miss a payment deadline. And trust me, they can add up quickly, turning a small debt into a mountain of financial worry. Next, let's talk about interest rates. When you don't pay your credit card bill on time, your card issuer might increase your interest rate. This is often referred to as the penalty APR, or annual percentage rate. You see, the longer you take to pay off your debt, the more interest you'll end up owing. And then there's the damage to your credit score. Your payment history makes up a significant portion of your credit score. Missed payments are a red flag to lenders, letting them know that you might be a risky borrower. This could make it harder for you to get loans or credit in the future. Lastly, let's not forget potential legal action. If you fall too far behind on your payments, your credit card company could sue you for what you owe. This could lead to wage garnishment, where a portion of your paycheck goes directly to paying off your debt. Remember, credit cards are a tool. Use them wisely and they can be incredibly beneficial, but misuse them. And you might find yourself in a financial hole that's difficult to climb out of. Uh, so that's a wrap on our journey through the world of credit cards. We've traced their history, delved into the mechanics of how they work, and highlighted the benefits they offer. But remember, with great power, comes great responsibility. Misusing a credit card can lead to serious financial repercussions. So, take this knowledge and apply it. Use your cards responsibly, making sure to pay off your balance on time. Remember, knowledge is power. Use your credit cards wisely, and they can be a great financial tool.